everyone it's Kiki your emo idol from Ohio and today I'm going to be talking about the name crazy kicks which some of you if you're new to me you don't know who crazy kicks is but if you know me for a while uh you probably do but in this video I'm just going to be talking about the background of crazy kicks and how crazy kicks came to be and if I still use the name today or not so originally I used to use this name kind of regularly when I was in OE after a while I wanted to get rid of like Alice and Hibiki and everyone was kind of using like Korean and like Japanese names and I wanted to kind of be different so I came up with crazy kicks and with that um, a lot of people actually spelled it wrong as well um, so instead of spelling it with like X's they spelled it with Z's or um, kicks instead of writing it out as k-i-x they wrote it out as like kick like kicks and i had a nickname was crazy kicks kicks children because it sounded like kicks or just like crazy kicks children and i don't know how that name came to be but it was just like something people would say and i was like oh okay now i don't use the name regularly now i go by kiki um for like everything and all that but when it comes to like doing rap and all that if i have like an original like rap song or whatever i'll definitely put crazy kicks instead of kiki um i don't know why i do that i just decided that's a thing i'm going to do since kiki has like all this other stuff and then crazy kicks barely gets shown so i'm like okay every now and then crazy kicks is going to get her time to shine and this video is actually going to be one of those tanches to shine so pretty much all my old covers all my old songs are deleted except for two people who still have all my old music off of soundcloud if you do not delete it i will end you but yeah um i don't have access to any of that stuff anymore so kind of giving dates in this video for like what songs I released and when is kind of like a blur to me because I don't have access to my SoundCloud anymore and I also deleted everything off of there as well. I would be lucky enough to find the album covers for everything because I can't even find the uh, album cover to fuck in an E because I don't know where it is. Like I literally do not know where it is like at all. So when I show it in this video, if I show it in this video, it's because i found it but if it's just empty it's because i didn't find it i have no clue where it is i've gone through all of my like old like drive folders because i used to separate all of my stuff in drive i used to have like final videos final uh audios like mastered audios and all that in like google drive and everything is gone i even had an entire google document like in the drive folder as well to state what's in here what's not what's about to be in here and maybe what needs to redo and i literally cannot find anything of crazy kicks it's like i just wiped everything off the internet so originally um crazy kicks debuted it with future reality um one of my friends had made the album cover for me i honestly hate the song but it was kind of like a new beginning for me um i didn't post it to youtube because i was scared of posting anything to youtube but when i posted it to instagram i remember getting like 300 views on it or whatever and i remember the song just being about how I just didn't want like a, a job, I didn't want to go to college and all of that, it was just all this stuff was pushed onto me or it was being forced onto me by my family even though 99% of the time what they wanted me to go into I didn't want to go into like, they wanted me to go into like engineering or technology because there's not a lot of women in that field but I told them no I don't want to like anymore because it just seems super hard and I don't seem to enjoy it anymore because people are just forcing it onto me so I had made the song about that and how I just wanted to enjoy my life, do things that are enjoyable. Like being an overseas idol was one of them because 
because it was like if I can't be an actual J-pop idol this is good enough for me because I can work on my own time have my own schedule and all of that and I also don't have to fucking move to Japan because why the fuck would I do that no shade no shade I'm sorry if you get offended by that no fucking shade damn the feedback on the song was nice or whatever um I didn't really put a lot of energy into when I made like a lot of songs and covers that's just like how it was and all of that especially when I was recording in the open area at my grandfather's house like this was during COVID so it was me and my grandfather and then like both of my sisters and all of that um so it was definitely hard to kind of record and like also be quiet and you know, like because I couldn't put a lot of energy into it um you know with them being there and all that they're gonna be like oh like they used to tell me to like shut the fuck up because I couldn't sing I was like god damn so I was trying my best with OE for real but it is what it is at this point um and then eventually I had dropped obliterated before um school had started back it was like my junior year I wasn't able to go in person um but I went to my grandmother's house me and my sisters all went to my grandmother's house and I was on YouTube and this beat like came up to me and I was listening to it I was like oh but earlier in the day I had watched X Factor and there was this dude singing applause if I can I'll insert the video but I really don't want to get like copyrighted or anything but that video was basically my inspiration to write Obliterated. Now the verse plus, is I live for the applause, plus, live for the applause, plus, live for the way that you see and scream for me. The applause, applause, applause. Now the verses are a bit different because there was other stuff going on. Um, like when I had like quote unquote doxed. <clears throat> We're not going to talk about that when I quote unquote uh, dox someone um, for a good reason though. They needed to be shut down because they were working minors and shit, but you know what it is. And then just other stuff was going on and I was like, okay, I'll kind of diss them in like one line and then, you know, I'll just go on with the song. And I guess people liked it and all that, but it was also like, you know, basic like no energy and stuff. I was like, that makes sense. And so that's why I uh, decided to redo obliterated and i'm going to be dropping it later this year so i know a few people are excited for that i said that if fuck n and e got like 200 views which it did i was going to drop obliterated either next month or i'll wait all the way till november because i still don't have like an album cover and like a lot of stuff like planned out the way i wanted it to but it could be my last song as crazy kicks i don't know if i'm gonna do other stuff as crazy kicks but i'll see just as of now it's kind of like crazy kicks gets her one song of the year basically <laughs> Now, this doesn't mean that Crazy Kicks is going away forever. Um, I try my best to drop as much as I could as Crazy Kicks, but I just don't really find, you know, like a lot of value or whatever in like rapping and like creating my own songs when it comes to rapping because I just don't feel super confident in it. I've been trying to get back into it, but it's just really, really hard to. But Crazy Kicks isn't fully going away because, um, being like a songwriter and all that um like crazy kicks will definitely be behind the scenes so if i you know made a song for kiki crazy kicks will definitely be in the credits of that and you know if i decide to ever put you know stuff on spotify and all that you're definitely going to see more than you know one profile you'll have crazy kicks and then you'll have kiki because kiki and crazy kicks songs are going to be super different which is why i never say that i have original songs um because i have original songs as crazy kicks but i don't have original songs as kiki because kiki is like an idol and like crazy kicks is more like an underground rapper um so eventually i'll get to working on like kiki's first single and all of that at the moment i don't think it's the time but maybe next year i'll start planning something for kiki try to plan more for crazy kicks like whether if it's like a song a year or something i thought about making another youtube like channel for crazy kicks but i was like there's really no point because it's only going to be like an upload a year and all that people aren't going to be super interested in that um 
but yeah that's all crazy kicks is me yeah but i'm also kiki kiki is crazy kicks crazy kicks is kiki i also have kumi as well if you're in ubs 48 like i go by kumi um i don't know about other groups oh dolly as well i go by kumi and dolly as well but it's kind of stylized so it's like everything is uppercase except for the eye usually i replace my eyes for ones that's what i've been doing recently or like zeros you know or o's for zeros you know that's what i've been doing so i stylized crazy kicks like that now because it used to be like a lowercase i and then i used to do kiki with lowercase eyes but like i love the number one because i was born on like june 1st and i was like you know what i love the number one so that's why i like seeing like 111 and 1111 so much because i just feel like that's like my number so yeah thank you for watching thank you for listening um i really really do appreciate it again all the support that i've been getting is just amazing to see like i finally have confidence to do stuff like this and it's just really really amazing to see people like like and actually watch my video and you know also the comments like i read every single comment and i feel so bad if i accidentally miss a comment but i always go and i always check myself to make sure that i don't miss any comments because i don't always get notifications for them sometimes i do sometimes i don't so i always make sure to reply to everyone and i want to start doing more stuff on my own i was thinking about making a discord server so if you do make it to the end of the video and you are interested in discord server please let me know um i may also do like a little poll or whatever or instagram to see like if anyone will be interested in something like that it'll just be a little server nothing too big you know it's just it is what it is because i see a lot of other people making servers and i was like maybe i'll do one too but yeah that's all for today's video thank you thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you next month or maybe the 21st of this month we'll see okay bye bye